And I still can't figure out why they call me Captain Whitefoot. Hmm. Doesn't make sense. begins caught the parade but I missed the boat <laughs> so I get to take the scenic tour all the way up the mountain over the other side but that's okay I got brand new shoes I'm gonna break them in let's go That is one challenging climb uphill. <laughs> I made it to the top here, and this is the uh, this is the uh, border fence to Islarena. And lucky me, I must have known I was coming because it's unlocked. <laughs> I was not gonna want to climb through this stuff. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Now it's all downhill from here. And here we are, Isla Reina. <laughs> Woo! I think I got my workout today. <laughs> and guard dogs must all be sleeping or something. is Lorena. <laughs> Did I wake you up? <laughs> Fluff, what are you doing Fluff? <laughs> Where's Prada, huh? <laughs> Why are all the dogs sleeping? Huh? <laughs> Prada! <laughs> Surprise girl! How you doing, brother? How you doing, huh? Oh, you know, you're happy. Are you a happy girl? Are you? <laughs> Are you happy, brother? <laughs> Snuck up on you, didn't I? Huh? <laughs> All right, girl. Yes, a good girl. That's my pride. That's my girl. <laughs> yes. Old shoes, new shoes. Old shoes, new shoes. Old shoes, new shoes. Old shoes. Bag of sand. Alrighty, one more day in the footer. I just got this last little area here to do. This little corner here, clean this out. And we're gonna put plastic over all of it and then start setting the rebar in. I'm gonna try and do it. We got about three days of rain ahead of us. So we're gonna try and get this done as fast as possible. Right, Prada? Yeah, she agrees. Just an hour in this corner here. Got it down to grade there. And this is how many rocks I managed to pull out of it. Just out of digging down about another eight inches. So, so it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of boulder bowling later on. But for now, I'll take a break from being in the footer. Oh, grab the magic bag. And get some more rocks. And another 
Another mega rocks. All right, well, the sun is out. And for some reason, I hear the generator running down by the beach. And that can only mean one thing. When the generator's running, nobody's working. That means Pacquiao's fighting. <laughs> so I'll head down, see if we can catch it on television, watch a little bit of the Pacquiao fight. That's a Philippine tradition. Pacquiao's fighting. Put down your work, the whole nation watches. And that includes me. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> fight. Well, <laughs> Sayang, as we say. <laughs> Uh, the boxing match is on TV, but uh, they were unable to load uh, credits on the TV satellite to watch it. <laughs> Ooh, well, we'll just have to watch the YouTube version. Head back up the hill. Right, Prada? Yeah, you're way ahead of me. Well, since it's low tide, usually I head up the steps up that way to go up the hill. I thought I'd take the alternate route here. Sometimes the guys walk along the beach, these jagged rocks here. And honestly, I've never really tried climbing the uh, rocks up to my house. You get an idea how steep it is. So let's see. Looking down from our beach. You kind of see how we have like these elevated tidal pools here. They kind of go down in steps, like from down this one, down to there, and then down to the ocean level. Pretty neat. These things actually hold water even when the uh, high tide recedes down to low tide. And you see a little, little fish sometimes floating around in them as well. Uh, kind of neat. I think I'm going to choose a spot here somewhere. Maybe this one right here and kind of get rid of all those big rocks someday make it even deeper and it'll be like our own little private swimming pool little tidal pool just off the beach <laughs> and just steps away from our house that i gotta finish putting steps down Ooh, those waves came out of nowhere all righty but that's our future swimming pool. Well, the waves are getting bigger. I'm going to go back up top where it's dry. <laughs> yeah, I might have to uh, put a nice little hammock swing underneath this tree as well. <laughs> so, all right, let's climb up the hill for the first time. That's a little bit rocky. Needs a little cleaning up, but we'll get there eventually. my planet here and the steps I made so far I get the uh, hammer drill I'll drill holes put the rest of the steps up and here we are right at serendipity point overlooking our beach and time to go back to work all right and the flavors of the day at Prada's Pub. Guyabano and iced tea. Guyabano, iced tea, Guyabano, iced tea. And of course, Prada's favorite is water. All right, girl. Yeah. There they are. Those sharks. Not even 
two, three feet of water, and they're all over there. There they are. And another bag of rocks. All right, well, now the diggers, diggers, the duggers, the duggers, the dugout, what the heck is it? The footer is finally dug out. Ah, finally get to start putting plastic in and start laying down the uh, rebar, getting ready for the cement. So let's get started doing that. Woo! Yeah, move out of the way, dog. Thank you. Right, well, does this look like a footer or look like a swimming pool to you? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I got all the digging done, so I wanted to put some plastic down and just throw some, just throw a little bit of uh, the rebar in there just to hold the plastic down in case it does get a little windy at night. But digging is done, and the next step is getting all the uh, metal in place properly. I'm just throwing it in there right now, and then. Uh, once all that's done, we'll get all this stuff mixed up together with some sand, with some cement, and we'll have ourselves a concrete slab. Woo! So that's it for today. And another bag of sand. And that begins day three, or six, or seven, or, you know, honestly, I lost track because you know, and my back kind of hurt for a couple days, so when you're injured, they send you back off the island. But anyways, <clears throat> today's going to be uh, basically finishing what I'm doing here, if you can see in the footer. Um, I'm going to be having two runs, of, uh, two runs of metal here in the footer. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting little cross pieces for the rebar. And then we'll be propping those up on like really small rocks so it's lifted out of the out of the water right now and but out of the concrete so it'll have some elevation and that's gonna be today and they kind of make a set of railroad tracks <laughs> and then uh, continue to cut some 45s and some angle bars as well so we can get all the metal ready for the cement yes finally getting ready for that wonderful day of pouring cement which is gonna be fun and even as I speak I'm starting to feel like a mist like a light rain <laughs> so I haven't even started and it's already starting to rain but the good news is I have shelter under here I got my sanding wheel for cutting the rebar gloves safety glasses because it does shoot off like little metal shards and lots of rebar <clears throat> So, let's get started. Alrighty, so we got some pieces of tie wire, some of the uh, crossbars here that's going to make it look like railroad tracks in the footer. Um, next step, start bringing the uh, metal into the footer and tying it all together. another bag of rocks and started raining hey all right guess we're going down the hill aren't we Prada sound good to you 
<laughs> let's go before we get totally soaked well as I said before the next rainy day I get <laughs> I'm uh, gonna have to kind of scrub what I'm doing over there in the uh, you know up there on the hill because there's nowhere to work without getting wet except one place I can work that's way over there by the cave I think what I'm gonna do is grab some trash bags some rope and uh, I want to go ahead and start cleaning that area up as I said before so since it's raining out here let's go in the cave where it's dry you ready to go Prada you want to chase chickens don't you all right well the waves were a little bit tricky getting in here had to kind of time the waves gotta see how that goes <laughs> but this is what I'm looking at all these little pieces of bamboo pieces of plastic stuff like that so I got some trash bags here, I got some rope, I'm going to tie all this bamboo and everything together. And I think I'll wait until like low tide and I'll uh, drag it all out and then around the other beach over there, just kind of put them there and let it dry. And then when it's dry we'll have a nice little bonfire. So in the meantime, let's get this cave cleaned up. At least it's not raining in here. And another bag of, wait a minute, what's that doing in there? Oh, never mind that. Another bag of rocks. And there's Prada. Where you been, girl, huh? Why didn't you join me in the cave, huh? What's up with that? Well, today's been one of those kind of off and on, rainy, don't know what you're doing kind of days, but at least I got like the first part, first square, the large area here, almost, well, pretty much everything but that back area there um tied up with wire ties and everything and got uh, 22 inches overlapping which is what they taught me in the u.s um so uh, it's been kind of a quirky day today a little bit of everything a little rain a little sunshine a little cave a little footer and sharks so we'll head down call it a day Ugh. clean up my feet that's for sure Prada, you ready to go? <laughs> yeah, it's about time. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Day four begins with a low tide at the cave. Calm seas, a lot better than yesterday, so we can grab all that wood and yank it all out of here. <laughs> it hasn't already. <laughs> Prada actually made it to the cave with me. She's not too sure about the last few steps though. She doesn't like water, but nevertheless, conditions can't get much better than this so we're gonna get this stuff out of here alrighty cave cleaning time alrighty got them down to the water surface just a few more steps hopefully this will work and yeah I'm gonna get wet oh. Feels good. Rada's still playing lookout. So far, so good. Just gotta get around these rocks and we're good. That didn't work at all. <laughs> I got over in this, this area here. One big wave caught me right between those rocks there. Just knocked me down. I don't know what's gonna, I guess they'll just float back in the cave. We'll have to think of something. Using more rope, pulleys, who knows what. Oh well, it was worth the effort. I tried it. 
while I'm here, might as well check out this side of the cave here. I haven't been, even been over here yet. Right, check out these little guys. I don't know if they're starfish or octopus. <laughs> Cute. Well, this makes it officially the furthest west I've ever made it on the island. Remember before I was way up there looking down here, that steep drop off. Um, so, since I made it this far, and fortunately, <laughs> well, they didn't end up on the beach here that I wanted to, but at least the sea is carrying them out to somewhere else to get them out of the cave. Uh, I might as well go ahead and check out, see what's around the corner here. Well, at least my shoreline, I'm not going to go much further. <laughs> this is kind of pretty steep and as you can see the water is not too friendly here but at least to give you a little view of the other side of the cave here and Brada's crying because I'm she's losing sight of me and she doesn't feel too comfortable on the rocks so I guess I'll head back so she doesn't have to worry ah always an adventure there's always another cove to explore, another part of the forest, another monkey to chase. <laughs> All right. Well, this makes the cave that much prettier. Got rid of, I'd say about 98% of all those uh, plastic bottles and <laughs> some of the wood. <laughs> now I know with the wood, just I guess it's just wait for the tide to go out and just let it float away. But bats seem happy. They're not flying around like crazy, I'm not complaining. And I'm happy. This looks a lot cleaner than it did before. And it's time to head back. The water's getting a little bit higher out there. The tide's coming in, so enough fun in the cave. Let's get back out, see some sunshine. It's supposed to rain today, but I'll take sunny sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine any day. All right, let's go. All right, well, that was a fun, productive trip to the cave. Um, just to give you an idea what the tides are like here, I'm standing in the middle of Black Tip Bay or Black Tip Beach. This is where the Black Tip sharks always are. And this is what it looks like at low tide. It's one little area here that's kind of enclosed, it catches a bunch of little fishes fishies or fish eye whatever. and it kind of entraps them in this little lagoon until the next tide comes out everywhere I go now I start seeing these little starfish these little guys pretty cool I never noticed them before yeah, they're everywhere <laughs> and no rocks this time <laughs> and believe it I actually use that bag that I usually use for carrying the rocks <laughs> I used it for carrying the trash outside of the cave there, so I'll have to go. I have a backup scooper, fortunately, and of course there's plenty of those rice bags. I'll grab another one of those. Alrighty, made it back. <sighs> I need a drink. Let's go to Prada's pub. And here comes Prada. <laughs> here she comes. <laughs> hey, Prada. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Wow, did you miss me at the cave? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you don't like the cave, do you? <laughs> All right, let's get something to drink, girl. <laughs> and flavors of the day at Prada's Pub. Guyabano, melon, iced tea. Guyabano, melon, iced tea. Guyabano, blah, 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 blah. And we always have water because there's unlimited amount of water here at Isla Reina. Woohoo! Well, the weatherman said it was going to rain today. <laughs> And this is what we got. <laughs> Sunny skies over a hot tarp. And I'll tell you what, uh, we're about two weeks out from getting the cement here, as long as it takes to order and you know, get things shipped here. So in the meantime, I think I'm gonna head up the trail, do a little bit more trail blazing, see if I can reach the top of the hill yet. That's the plan.
Well, even in the midst of the forest here, you find beauty like this. I don't know what kind of tree or vine or... That's just beautiful. Beautiful nature all around. Well, you remember that sunny sky I showed you earlier? <laughs> now I'm way up the hill and now it starts raining. So I guess that's gonna put an end to this project for now. That's all right. I needed a shower to wash off all the salt water anyways. Well, I guess this shows you just how fast the weather can change here. Whew, sunny and calm in the morning, then a little windy and now rainy. I have a feeling this is going to be around for a while too, so this might pretty much be the uh, finishing touches for uh, this week. But at least we're getting more rain in the rain barrel. We'll continue watering the plants and uh, head into town, have some nice hot food, and some nice dry air conditioning. And we'll come back and continue next week. See ya. Hey buddy, you shake hands? You shake hands? Nah, I don't think so. Leave me alone. <laughs>